Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about my fails of 2016. As you guys know, I do a fail or a holy grail product twice a month. So I have one holy grail for every month of the year, apart from one month where I couldn't really find any holy grails or fails, so I just did a below average and an above average post instead. But for me, what I consider to be a fail is a product that doesn't fulfill its purpose. Sometimes it doesn't fulfill its purpose specifically for me, or sometimes I feel like it doesn't fulfill its purpose for anybody. So either of those can be a fail, but just because it's a fail for me does not mean it cannot be a holy grail for you. Of course, since these are fails, I actually do not physically have very many of them to actually show you guys today. The reason for that is that if it doesn't work, why keep it in your life? I hoard way too much stuff as it is, so I end up either selling them or giving them away if I can because otherwise I would just be drowning in products. <laughs> so in January, I talked about the Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Boost. This is such an expensive product, and for me, it really didn't do anything. It actually made it harder for me to apply makeup over, so I really saw no skincare benefits from using this product. It smelled really nice. It had a really heavy scent of oranges, of course, because it is a vitamin C product, but it contains so much fragrance that I thought it might be irritating my skin as well. And my skin is a little bit sensitive, but if you have very sensitive skin, I would be staying away from this one because the fragrance will most likely irritate your skin. For the amount of money, it just didn't do anything for me. In February, I talked about the Tony Molly Tomatox White Massage Pack. This one was a huge fail for me. I ended up with about 10 to 15 sample sachets of the product, and each sample sachet contains about three uses. So even though people complained that I didn't actually buy the full size product, I really didn't need to because if I decanted those into one bottle, I would probably have more than the full size product. The problem with this white massage pack is a problem that I've encountered many times before in that what it does is that it leaves a thick layer of white residue on your skin. It does not change the color of your skin, but it will look slightly paler because you've got a white residue on your skin. I mean, that's great if you really want to look a little bit paler, but as soon as you apply makeup or sunscreen or anything over the top of it, the white cast is gone. The white cast is because it contains titanium dioxide and zinc oxide which have sunscreen properties and they are the things that give you that white flashback if you are using a physical sunscreen. So you may as well just be wearing a sunscreen. The sunscreen is probably better for your skin anyway. Next up I talked about the Maison Multifunction Formula Snail Recovery Gel. Now this gel is a holy grail for so many princesses. It is sort of the first product that people recommend buying if you're wanting to get into snails. But for me, it gave me pimples, so nope, goodbye, gone. Next up, I actually have this one still. This is the Celebon RX Nature Tox 3-in-1 UV Essence Sunblock Essence and Makeup Base. So the biggest reason that this is a fail for me is because it is a facial sunscreen, but it actually has a lot of shimmer in it, so I can sort of spread it out on my hand and you guys will probably be able to see how shiny it is, because it's really shiny. So it's on this side and you can see that it has a really beautiful glow. But on your face, this glow looks horrible because it just sinks into my pores and it really accentuated how sort of dimpled my skin looked from the pores. But the reason that I still have this is that it actually makes quite a nice body sunscreen. But since it is such a small little bottle, I'm pretty much almost out of this because I used it for a week while I was down in Gisborne because I was out in the sun enjoying my life and not working. So it would be a very expensive sunscreen to buy if you were just using it on your body because it pretty much lasts you a week. Next, I talked about the Accuve One Day Define Natural Shine Lenses. I bought these lenses because I really like using daily disposable lenses, even though these ones are not daily disposable. They are so pretty that I made an exception. But these lenses only came in a base curve of 8.5 millimeters, which doesn't fit my eyes at all. So the lenses would slide around and they would migrate out of the iris. Um, which is a bad thing, it's really bad for your eyes to be wearing that and every time I opened one of those packages there would be some tiny fault with the lens even if it was like flipped inside out and the printing was on the wrong side or some of them actually had holes in the lenses so in general the quality of the lenses was quite poor even though the comfort was high if they were in an actual 8.6 or 8.7 millimeter base curve which is generally what people have for their eyes 8.5 is a little bit out there they would have been more comfortable but I was really unhappy with the quality of the lenses next up I had the skin food avocado leave-in fluid which is a hair product 
Now this hair product did nothing for my hair and I had to use so much of it to actually cover my hair. Um, even though it was really cheap, it, I just had to use so much of it for it to do even the minutest bit of softening. And this is a product that other people really, really love, but I really, really hated. Of course it could have to do with the fact that my hair is dyed um, and it's really long, even though I've just chopped a lot of it off, but it didn't, it didn't do anything. It didn't make it feel nice. It actually made it feel a little bit more um, like dry, so it's a no from me. Next up was the Skin Food Grapeseed Oil Wrinkle Neck Cream. Now I still have this because it doesn't actually do anything for my neck, but it does make a really nice leg and foot moisturizer during the winter. It's a really heavy cream, so it moisturizes really nicely, and it smells really nice too, so I actually quite like using it as a leg cream. It's not something that I would repurchase because it'd be a very expensive like foot cream, but that's how I'm repurposing it. Next up I had the Skin Food Nail Vita Pineapple Cuticle Cleaner, which did nothing for my cuticles. May as well have not used anything. Then I talked about the Tony Molly Super Peeling Liquid Shiny Foot, which again, didn't really do anything for my feet. It peeled off a tiny amount of dead skin, but nothing substantial at all. I would have done a better job using pumice that I got for free at the beach. So why did I spend $20 on a foot peel? Then I talked about the Cosrx Galactomyces 95 Whitening Power Essence. And this is just another product that really didn't do anything for me. It's supposed to lighten and brighten the skin in the sense that it's not bleaching your skin, of course, but it means that it is brightening up the acne scarring and giving your skin a glow. Now, I didn't see any of that, and that's the problem. It did lightly hydrate my skin, but nothing magical. I could use a really cheap toner for the same effect. So it didn't do what its name would suggest, as in a whitening power essence. It did not whiten or brighten my skin. Lastly, I talked about the Mesha Line Friends Mild Sun. Now this sunscreen does have Line Friends on the front, but I believe it is the same mild sunscreen anyway. And this is just a bad sunscreen. It's really hard to keep it on your skin, it doesn't absorb and it moves around. So if you wanted to apply makeup over top of it, you'd be like mixing your makeup into the sunscreen, which is not a good thing. If there's any chance that I'm not actually going to be getting sun protection, then I'm not going to use that product. And there are so, so, so many other sunscreens that do a wonderful job on the market that I didn't keep this one, um, even though it was only a recent review, um, because it just... It was a really horrible product. It also made my skin look really bad too because I ended up with all of these white patches around my face, especially like in my eyebrows and my hairline as well. It just didn't look good and it didn't perform well, so why bother keeping it? So that is it for my fails. I hope you guys aren't too offended if I didn't like some of the products that you like because of course most of them are skincare. My skin is so different from everybody else's. No one has the same skin. It's so hard to like the same products. Next week I will be talking about my holy grails of 2016 and I will have more products to actually show you next week because of course I kept more of them because I like them. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching this video today and I will see you next time. Bye!